Kal Halaliam Lai Hawa Bahasham Sha Yahu Shai Bahasham Rakakodash, which is ancient Pale Hebrew for all praise to Yahweh, Heavenly Father's only name, in the name of the Son Yahu Shai, his son's only only name, right? Um this is Brother Yawasab from Jamas Guyana. Um just wanna come and do, do a quick lesson on this um speech that Trump has made was made on March twenty second, the coronavirus. Alright, and this is on um this is Guardian News. Just play this clip. I want to say that I know that this is a challenging time for all Americans. Oh, oh, disclaimer. I do not own any legal rights to this image or this video in any way. Um, I was just doing this for edifying, edifying purposes, and that's it. We're enduring a great national trial, and we will prove that we can meet the moment. I want to assure the American people that we're doing everything we can each day to confront and ultimately defeat this horrible, invisible enemy. We're at war. In a true sense, we're at war. And Here he says to this horrible and this invisible enemy, all right? And that's what this lesson's about, all right? In a sense, we're fighting. We're invisible. And, and this, this is um, cold. This is cool to something that um, all the elites and all the Pawns and that no knows whatever little they they probably express to them. They're just saying that you know this puppet hates is going to announce that we're at war with an invisible enemy, and that enemy is Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. I right? might say this virus, but they they know what they mean. All right, their words are smoother than butter. The scripture says. Stay to confront and ultimately defeat this horrible invisible enemy. We're at war in a true sense. We're at war. And we're fighting an invisible enemy. Think of that. So it cost me billions of dollars to be president, and I am so happy I did it. Because who cares? Yeah. You happy you did it because he's working with the elite. Because it's not really he money. You know, they put him in place to do whatever you gotta do, and then you know they believe they're gonna have you know world power, and he's like. He's so glad. Of course, he's glad. He's glad he's easy. One of the world's superpowers. Who cares? Who cares? I'm really happy with the job we're doing, and I'm glad that this team and me are here for this horrible thing. I mean, it's a number of people have said it, but and I feel it actually. I'm a wartime president. This is a war. This is a war. Different kind of a war that we've ever had. But I'm a little yeah. Upset. They never fight with your boss. You know, Shaggy. They're about to get that. I spoke in over a lifetime, boy. With China, I'll be honest with you, because as much as I, I like President Xi and as much as I respect the country... You see, he's stirring up and he's throwing my shade, for lack of a better word, throwing my disrespect. They're gonna obviously going to take take disrespect because the, the, the smaller nations, as the scripture says, will be, you know, pissed off with Babylon, right? Not pissed off is on the statement, you know. They, re they already realize how messed up is but he's just poking at it you know and admire the country i have great admiration for the country what they've done in a short period of time of course our presidents our previous presidents allowed that to happen mm -hmm. you should say thank you very much to all of them you see you should say thank you very much oh you telling us who we should thank and, and what but uh they should have told us about this and i did ask him whether or not we could send some people in, they didn't want that. Out of pride, I think really out of pride. They don't want they don't want us sending people into China to help them. You will see our economy skyrocket once this is over. I think it's gonna skyrocket. It's a it's a pent up demand, it's a built up demand and uh, I guess you really have to say who knows, but I think it's gonna be a tremendous day when we win this war and we will win the war. We wanna win the war with a, with as few a if you look at it, just deaths as possible. You see what he says there? I guess pent up demand, it's a built up demand, and uh, I guess you really have to say who knows, but I want to people into China to help them. Do you will see our economy skyrocket? The economy skyrocket mean that when you switch to digital currency, you know, everybody gonna comply and all follow and so forth. On on their behalf they can skyrocket and they can get exactly what they they, they think they can get. They think they can get exactly what they want, but they won't. All right, that's it. You have a bash in your shine. 
All right, so let me read this preset based on that that thing he said. Um, invisible enemy, right? This is um, Second Maccabees chapter chapter nine verse one says about that that time Antiochus with dishonor out of the country of Persia. All right, and Antiochus was an Edomite, right? For he for he had entered the city called Persepolis and went and went about to rob the temple and the holy city whereupon the multitude running to defend themselves with their weapons fight them defend themselves with their weapons put them to fight so it happened and at that until she's being put to flight or flight of the inhabitants returned with shame all right it says and um, before bright cometh shame Verse 3, it says, Now when he came to Ecbatane, Ecbatain, news was brought with brought him what had happened unto Nancanor and Timotheus. Then this is this is the point. No, oh, next verse. Then swelling with anger, he thought to avenge upon the Jews the disgrace done unto him by those that made him flee. Right? So you want to take out his of uh, uh, you know, his anger, his vengeance, whatever you want to call it, all right? Therefore commanded he, his chariot man, to drive out, to drive without ceasing, and to dispatch the journey, the judgment of the Mosai now following him, for he had spoken proudly. You see that? The judgment of the Mosai now following him, for he had spoken proudly in this sort that he would come to Jerusalem, and make it a common bearing place of the Jews. He said that to Yahweh and, and that's basically what uh, what these people got planned for us, you know, Psalms 83, the crafty council. And this is what the most is gonna do, right? This is just the beginning of this so called coronavirus is just the beginning. I say so called because this cor this coronavirus is an angel, alright? If you read through the scriptures in Ezekiel in um in the book of Kings, can I recall the first or second Kings, where by the Most High sent forth an angel to plague Israel. Most High sent forth angels to plague Egypt. Those were angels. You could read about it in the same wisdom of Solomon. All right. All right. Um, Sirach 39 says they're, they're experienced created for vengeance. All right. They have in um, the book of Samuel. More description says that evil spirit from the Lord was was on him. But anyway, let me get into this and show you, right? Also in um Acts, when that angel smote uh what was that emperor name again, boy? I have to do a lesson on it. I brought this out. But Yahweh verse verse uh, verse five. But Yahweh Almighty, Yahweh Allah Shadia, which Allah Shadia goes back to terrible dear demon like power. Allah mean um Allah meaning power and Shadia mean like terrible demon like power, right? And um the power of Israel smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. And when you look at plague, it's either a pestilence or wait, let me type it. Let me type it. Let Right, it says a contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the, with the formation of bubbles. Bubbles it says an unusually large amount of insects or animals infesting a place causing damage. All right, all right, that's what a plague is according to that definition. But if you go to um, the precept again. No. Right, if you come back to me, right? Um, smote him with an incurable, incurable. They don't have a cure. They don't have a cure right now, or they ain't gonna release the cure right now. See, this is all games they're playing. This is all games they're playing so that they can cause chaos and then get their order. And they, when they, when everybody realizes that they well, they're hoping everybody realizes that they need the government and we right, we should we should serve and abide by the every word and because I was read I was watching this video with the apostle El yeah. Apostle Ramla he was saying I was reading this article whereby this uh this labor Prime Minister of Labor um something brown 
right? He was saying that they want to set up a temporary global government. <laughs> you know, once they do that, they're gonna just go. They can. They can. Things are not gonna be the same, you know. And as as, as uh, Apostle Rama, Elder Apostle Rama was would say, is, um, it's like just as 9, 9 11 you can't go back. Things were different when there was different um, security. Security airport security is much more tight, and they would never go back. Then. And what they what they said, never again. That was a campaign slogan. Anyway, Slack, let me let me uh, continue this precept. It says, but Yahweh, Al Shadir, the power of Israel smote him with an incurable and invisible plague or as soon as he had spoken or as soon as he had spoken these words a pain of the bowels that was remediless they couldn't find a remedy that mean they tried to to use the different enchanters and herbs and all out of witchcraft see but they couldn't fix it came upon him and sore torment of the inner parts all right that's the invisible all right so with that um, just, just a quick lesson straight to the point. With that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kafudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great wisdom, and salutation to the sincere Akim who's pushing the truth to the Holy Scriptures in fear, sincerity, and truth. All right? Shalom.